Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I cleared out a ton of areas already, so maybe this place won't take as long as I thought it will, but I still have a feeling it's going to be pretty brutal. <laughs> um, in this area, whoa, 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 can't do that. You want to look out for golden chunks of sorts. I didn't- oh no, that's bad. That lava takes off three health. These golden chunks right here. Those things, yeah. Oh, and these enemies right here are known as live wire. Oh, you can't really do anything about them. You're just they're just there. At least I don't think you can do anything about them. Maybe you could kill them off if you're invincible or something like that. Um those red spookos, you can kill them with ice eggs, but I don't really bother most of the time because they're they're just there. Um I can't get up there without the shock spring thingy just yet. I wonder if I should do this now, because there's a segment over here, down this ledge, that I'm gonna have to do a really awkward platforming segment. See that toxic waste? That takes off a lot of your- oh shoot, a lot of your health, and you need to do a, a jump across it to get a, a piece of that golden stuff on poopers. That is a great start, right off my game over there. <laughs> That's more like my second game over the level. Dang it! <laughs> Look out for the bees! I guess they don't hurt you unless you try and break them out. Um, there's a gold chunk inside this thing, so pick that up. You'll see what those gold chunks are used for later on, but I'm not all that concerned about them since they're scattered everywhere. But I do have to I do have to get them all to 100% this, but I mean, I'm not concerned with showing you what they do or telling you what they do just yet. Alright. <sighs> Um, do I need anything else? Oh shoot! Anything else here? Well, perhaps we will never know. <laughs> As you can see, we're gonna have to go traverse across that stuff later. Uh, we can only do that safely when you get another transformation. Wow, my plane is terrible this part. But game over is not really that big of a deal anyway, so whatever. Um, I suppose I, I can go up here. This is where you use those gold chunks. I'm, I'm doing okay, I just had a couple of game overs, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me, I've played so many games, it makes perfect sense for things to talk to me. Even inanimate objects. <laughs> so, yeah, these are pieces of a jiggy, and you need to get all seven of them. They're scattered around the factory area. No big deal. I'll just get them gradually across this part, basically. Mm, yeah, we can tell at the upper right corner there, thank you. <laughs> well, why didn't they just, like, throw them in the lava or something like that? That, that would make a lot more sense, but maybe I shouldn't question the game logic. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna throw them in here a little bit later. And, well, once I get them all, all together here. Um, I can't get that one up there until I get that panel active, and that's gonna take, uh, something else. As for right now, I'm going to- ugh. <laughs> the wall got in my way, but I couldn't tell via perspective. I'm gonna get this platform moving, and what I wanna do- whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get out my fire eggs. There's a barrier. Oh, jeez, maybe the, getting out the fire eggs that early was a bad idea. There's a barrier in front of this furnace here. And I am about to turn that off. Uh, maybe I need the ice eggs, actually. Oh, poopers. Uh, I do need the ice eggs. Dang it, that does make more sense with the furnace. I mean, okay, I'm gonna have to wait for this to go around again. And it also makes more sense because, you know, I can defend myself against the, the red spookos. Come on. Come on, there we go. Dang you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not my part. Okay, can I make this jump? Because I'm tired. Pfft. I could if I managed to press the button early enough a second time. <sighs> yep, definitely not my part here. Okay, do I still have my ice eggs out? I do, okay. It's open! Wow, it's amazing what you can do when you think. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside here and there's a... Wonder Wing panel here. There's a boss coming up through here, which makes me wonder if I should actually do this now with how low of health I'm at. Although, 
Couldn't I just, like, cheat this a little? Like, continue to get honeycomb pieces from those live wires? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm using the noodle! It's amazing! And there we go. Yeah, maybe I'll fill up the feathers for the heck of it. Okay. And... boss time! Plungo! At its toughest version. Well, maybe not. Plungo is never really all that tough. Oh boy. Alright, bring it on! So yeah, he's throwing potions. Aim for... Oh shoot! Since it's slippery on the ice here, it's kind of tricky, but still not all that big of a deal. Especially if you have as much health as I do. And, oh jeez. Those are red germuloids. Not really much different than the other kinds, just when they latch onto you, rapidly move the control stick slash d-pad, whatever you're using to play this game. And you'll be out of them. Uh, very quickly. No matter how many there are. <laughs> yeah, they come from those pipes off to the side there. And Klungo is already almost dead. And I will be getting a very important, uh, important transformation. Shortly, yeah. But I'm not gonna transform until... No, of course I don't have a coal. I got a fur coat plus yellow shorts. <laughs> and he failed again. Who would have guessed? Alright, let's get out of here. And you got a wonder when you're way back out of here, thanks to the pad there that's in your... Well, I, I shouldn't say thanks to, it's just, you know, there for good design. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is here for, other than killing these guys. I, I don't really remember needing to use that pad other than killing them off. Uh, grab that chunk. Got five. Doing well. And this next area that I'm leading up to here... Oh, pfft, uh, you want... Uh, maybe I should be invincible here just to make things a little bit easier. Why not? If I can make those jumps, I'm not sure I can do that while invincible. But uh, the next area that you want to... You want to be at full health, if at all possible, because it's another one of those life-draining type of areas where... Ooh, geez, question mark. <laughs> it's another one of those life-draining areas like the... Uh, the smelly area in the bog place. Yeah, that one with the toxic gas. Yeah, right here. Blistering buttons. Over here. Spell Gruntilda. No! The... R. Oh, poop. You. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull this off. Because I don't know if I have enough health for this. I... Get comb. Is there more? Yeah, there's more over there. Should probably grab them. And this note nest, because I'm here, why not? Oh boy, it's coming down to the wire. One more hit left. I'm probably gonna end up game over, aren't I? <laughs> that's what you need to do for the jiggy. But I'm not gonna game over before I get that jiggy, that's for sure. And ah, oh, so close. <laughs> and now that I got that, I don't really have to worry about anything else here. It's just there to be there now, the blistering buttons area, I suppose. Let's go through here, it just pops you right out at that gate. And I'm doing well... ...so far. A lot better than I thought I would, actually. Now I'm just trying to think what's left, basically. Like, what do I need to do around here? Well, I know that there's that Jinjo in that toxic waste. Uh, uh, maybe I should just do that transformation and just get that over with, but I forgot how to get that panel active over... I know that there's this here, but it's not... it doesn't have anything to do with that uh, shock spring panel here. I'd like to get that, but I'm, I'm thinking... ugh. I'm thinking it has to do with something else. Wait, what's this? Well, that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's detailing, sure, but it's nothing that's important. Um, 
Um, hmm. Okay, let's go over to Mumbles. Ah! I'm making a lot of awkward sounds this part, aren't I? <laughs> And there, no, there's stuff that I can do in ye old water. As an octopus. But I'd like to do the next transformation. Because I'm eager to show you what it is and what it can do. Because it's a pretty neat one, even if it's a uh, transformation that you can only use in certain limited uh, areas of expertise, so to speak. This, this transformation is so powerful, actually, that the magic is very limited in where you can use it and that you can't go too far away from Mumble's pad in most cases, in uh, most levels. Probably because uh, it would break a lot of the enemies, because you can one-hit kill a lot of the enemies with this transformation. It is a tank! Yeah, a tank, of all things. You can't jump as a tank, but you can shoot with the B button. It's kind of like the octopus in the way that you can shoot with it. But since you can't jump, it's not quite. And if you go in the water, it's a one-hit kill. And he's hinting at the uh, toxins of doom. Oh yeah! I don't know what you're firing, though. It just looks like some sort of smoke ball. Knowing this game series though, it could be like underwear or something like that. Like you... Oh shoot, like you would shoot out, out of, of the uh, laundry machine in Banjo-Tooie. See? We can now go inside the green goop, but unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't jump up there, and that's why we had to do that platforming segment manually. There's the last Jinjo, and now we can go back over to that section and grab the Jiggy. Once we get back to the factory, of course. Okie mm, dokie. And I think... It actually isn't... I think this leads to a minigame. Well, sort of. This is the Lava Jetty. Uh, you see these platforms, you want to touch all of the platforms. You don't want to leave any uncrumbled, basically. And you'll see why. See the platform counter at the bottom right corner? Yep. Gotta get them all down to zero, and your reward is a Jiggy. Very, very easy puzzle. And there's another one just like this at the um, uh, swamp one, swamp area. Oh shoot, I forgot about that pad. I'm gonna have to come back here and I'm gonna have to do jumping down through this. Crap. <laughs> That's how you activate that pad. The one that, the shock spring pad back at the factory. So, yeah, if you ever jump down here, watch. Mumbo magic run out, then you automatically get pooped out back there. Why, uh, yes, please. Come on, come on. I was a little early there, dang it. And let's go back to the factory and get that Jiggy back where the Jinjo was, because why not? I'll just do that to finish off the part. I think I can actually shortcut over there by hop skipping and jumping across here. Well, you are in my way, so you're not that much of a shortcut. <laughs> actually, it's a pretty decent shortcut in all honesty. You can just go cut right through there and jump down here. Oh. There it is. <laughs> now platform back to the Jin Jo. Go, 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 go. And there we go. This is where it was, I think. Oh, jeez. Dang you, boombox. Dang you. No problem whatsoever. Uh, let's see our totals here, because I'm going to end off the part here shortly. What do I got? Oh, there's only one move in here? I thought there was a couple moves. Huh. Uh, I'm doing well. Doing very well, then. Uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish off this level.